How do you read a text that has punctuation marks? For example, Matt has a dog, a cat, and a fish. Yet, he would also like a bird. Matt likes lots of animals. He enjoys dogs most. Which animal do you enjoy most? In this lesson, you will learn that good readers read fluently by noticing all punctuation as they read. To read fluently means to read with a storyteller's voice. This makes the text feel more like it's really happening and it helps you understand the story. Sometimes readers read without stopping for end punctuation marks or in sentence punctuation marks like this. Matt has a dog, a cat, and a fish, yet he would also like a bird. Matt likes lots of animals. He enjoys dogs most. Which animals do you enjoy most? Wow, that sounded like one big long sentence, and it was very hard to understand. We need to pay attention to all of the punctuation marks. When we see a period, we need to make a full stop with our voice. When we see an exclamation point, we also need to make a full stop with our voice. When we see a question mark, we again need to make a full stop with our voice. When we see a comma, though, we need to make sure that we take a quick break with our voice. When we see a semicolon, we need to take a quick break as well. Let's take a look at this text and keep in mind what we know about punctuation marks. I'm going to start reading. Matt has a dog. Oh, right there I see a comma. Hmm, let's do some thinking about that comma. Do I need to take a full stop or do I need to take a quick break with my voice? I know that a comma tells me I need to take a quick break, so it should sound like this. Matt has a dog, a cat, oh, and another comma, another quick break, so it sound like this. Matt has a dog, a cat, and a fish. Oh, and right there I see an exclamation point. Do I need to take a full stop or a quick break with my voice? Exclamation point is end punctuation, so that means I need to take a full stop. So altogether, the sentence would sound like this. Matt has a dog, a cat, and a fish. That sounds right. All right, so let's think back to the steps that I just took to figure out how to read with showing that punctuation. First, I stopped when I came to an in-sentence or end punctuation mark. Then, I thought to myself, do I need to take a full stop or a quick break with my voice? After that, I reread the sentence to match the punctuation mark. All right, let's try out those steps on this text. I'm going to start reading. I am going for a walk. Oh, right there, I see a semicolon. Hmm, let's think. Do I need to take a full stop or do I need to take a quick break with my voice? It's a semicolon, so that means I need to take a quick break. All right. I am going to I am going for a walk. I will be gone 20 minutes. Oh, a period. A period tells me that I need to take a full stop. So, let's read it all together. I am going for a walk. I will be gone 20 minutes. I like to take walks. Oop, a comma. Do I need to take a full stop or a quick break? Comma tells me quick break. I like to take walks, but not when it is hot outside. Oh, and an exclamation point, a full stop. So all together it would sound like this. I am going for a walk. I will be gone 20 minutes. I like to take walks, but not when it is hot outside. So I can follow these steps. Stop when you come to in sentence or end punctuation marks. Then think, do I need to make a full stop or a quick break with my voice? Finally, I need to reread the sentence to match the punctuation mark. In this lesson, you have learned how good readers read fluently by noticing all punctuation as they read.